always been there for me. Um, what motivates me to get up, out of bed, come to school, teach these children. Um, I am a product of Gregory Portland ISD, and I, I, I am a product of the excellent music education that has gone on in this district for decades. I found my love of music when I was a middle school student, a junior high student right here in this district. What I'll never forget is that he was in my choir for one semester and he made the Texas All-State Choir. Unheard of, unheard of. He was in band, so he was already a musician, but he had to learn the choir way, he had to sight read and to read music like a vocalist, and he did that in, in less than a semester and made the Texas All-State Choir. He joined me as a senior, so he did it as a senior, you know, it's miraculous. Miraculous. He is a kid magnet. They really like that he is funny. That's why I like him because he's going to keep our program going and excelling because he attracts them and then we just do our best to try to keep them. And then also I admire him because he knows every kid's name in this program, 6th through 12th grade. He can learn those kids' names without a seating chart or any tool. He can learn those kids' names within the first week of school. Everybody's. Sometimes I might not have the best first three class periods, but I'll come to choir and I'll be happy because we'll be working and then we'll be singing and then we'll be funny and it just perks my day up and turns it around a bit. I want to be proud of you because I, for him to see how much I've accomplished and everything and how much success I've had, how much joy I've had and just for him to see all his work paid off. Mr. Campion is all about building relationships, and so as long as he builds these relationships with these kids, which is what he prioritizes first and foremost, then everything else will fall into place. They will work for him. And so that's what I've learned like, that is most important, is that I need to establish strong relationships with my students, know who they are. Mr. Campion is a man who's full of compassion, and so that compassion radiates to his students and it also radiates to me. I'm a first year teacher and he is nothing but supportive. I want to see my students take their experiences in music in my classroom and all the way up through the end of the high school choral program. I want to see them take that experience and use it to inform who they become, who they are as a person and who they become as a person. Um, music is just an amazing thing and it's always been there for me, but particularly in the choral art, when I found choir, when I found this idea of singing with people, raising your voice in song with a group of people, um, there's something so human about that. There's the human element there. Um, and to me, that is, what I, that is what I try to work in with my students every day. Well, something that he told us at the very beginning of the year in sixth grade was that at the very end of the year, he would tell us um, like where music comes from. And that was just something that I was always really interested in and curious about. And I would ask him every time and he'd be like, oh, just wait till the end of the year. So at the end of the year, I, I asked him and he told me, well, music comes from other music. And it just made me realize that Music is this thing that's always been in the world and it's connected to everything. And he helped me see that how everything is connected and that you can see things between the, the lines of the, of the music and the notes and how you can like connect that to your own life and, and how um, it impacts people. I come from a music history background, that's what I studied in college, so everything, every piece that we perform has some sort of historical significance, it has some sort of place in the repertoire and it has a place in our world um, that, is, that is closely related to social studies. Um, music is sound, music is sound waves that come together, so that is science right there in music. Um, and then of course English, language arts, um, and not even just that, in the choral art, in, in choral music, we sing in other languages. We sing in French, German, Italian, Spanish, Russian, uh, uh, Hebrew, uh, there's, there's no language untouched, Swahili, no language untouched that we do in the choral art. Um, 
music is syntax, music is grammar. There is so much of music that is not just music, but it is, it is all of the other core academics combined. It's never just about the singing, it's about being perfect in everything with him. Uh, the way they sit up, the way they present themselves, the way they stand. He pays attention to everything and he makes sure those kids get it right all the time. Um, so I think that's the one thing that if you ever want to see a classroom where uh, those high expectations are set, it's definitely his. They have very high expectations and he demands that they meet them and the kids do. I think with him it's, it's you have a lot of passion and a lot of desire and that's not something that is just something you're kind of born with. Every teacher has that special aha moment when they see their student get it. But it is really a special moment in music and it is really a special moment when you're working with a singer, when you're working with young vocalists. When they have that aha moment, when they just get it, when it clicks and you see their eyes brighten, it's not just about them getting it right. It's not just about them getting the music, that note, that rhythm, that word. It's about them understanding a little bit more of themselves. Um, and I, I see that on a daily basis in my classroom. They understand a little bit more about who they are. They understand a little bit more about where they come from or what they're doing or why they exist. That we can, some of us can only dream of doing. He sings like, like, like it's, he sings his heart out. And some of us here have um, problems with like stage fright or, or we get really nervous. And him just being there for us and him doing it um, with us kind of helps him, help, helps us conquer through that. And it'll help us maybe feel a little better about what we're doing. So I joined because of him. And I joined because it was kind of the mentality that my friends had put towards me and that he had put towards them. And I wanted to be like that. I wanted to be like him. He, he's an inspiration to some of us and to most of us. Music education is the lifeblood of a school. It is the heartbeat of the school. It is the rhythm of the school. It adds so much. Um, and often, oftentimes we are in the background. Oftentimes we are not, um, music educators we're, and music students are not seen, um, but we add value to the school.